Hey everyone, Dave here. These are the five best Bluetooth headsets for phone calls in 2023. There are thousands of Bluetooth headsets on the market and we've reviewed probably over 500 of them and these are our top five. Having a noise canceling microphone is essential to having the best phone conversation so your customers and colleagues aren't hearing barking dogs, noisy coworkers, or anything else going on in your background. So we're gonna test out all of these headsets back to back so you can hear which one sounds best for yourself. We'll have a link in the video description to each of these headset models and the full in-depth review if you wanna learn more about any one of these headsets. And on top of that, when you're shopping on headsetadvisor.com website, make sure you use coupon code YouTube to get an even bigger discount, or you can reach out to our dedicated team here at Headset Advisor. At number five, we have the Shox OpenCom 2. This is one of the more unique headsets that we've reviewed before, since it doesn't use your typical speakers. It uses a technology called bone conduction. And it has this pad on the side of where the speakers would be at that rests on the side of your face. And it sends sound signals directly through your jaw and your bone to send the signal to your inner ear, bypassing your eardrum. Have a quick listen to the sample of the audio out of this headset so you can hear it for yourself. All right, to show the uh, bone conduction technology, I have music playing. You can't really hear it, I'm sure but check this out. As soon as I put the transducer, you can hear the music there. See, take it off, it's still playing. As you can see, it pushes the sound through the transducer for the bone conduction technology. All right, bone conduction technology is beneficial for two primary reasons. Number one is if you suffer from hearing loss, people have reported that bone conduction technology allows them to actually hear better even if they have hearing loss. And number two is since it doesn't use your traditional speakers and actually cover up your ear canals, your ears are actually open so you can hear your environment around you. So if you work in an open office, you're able to hear what's going on around you and be more safe and know what's going on. Same thing, you're able to use the headset while driving since your ears are actually open and you can hear and be safe. Same thing with walking. You're able to actually listen to audio as well as hear what's going on around you. Aside from the bone conduction technology, the Shox OpenCom 2 UC includes a USB adapter, so it's able to connect to your laptop or computer as well as your smartphone, so you can use one headset for all your communication needs. The price is under $200. It has a 16 hour battery life and the headset is extremely lightweight. It weighs just over an ounce, which is about the weight of a AA battery, so it's gonna be insanely comfortable for all day use and it's worn behind the neck, which is very unique for a business headset. And so it just makes it a unique and very comfortable experience in my opinion. And lastly, the noise canceling microphone performs very well. So you're going to be able to have your voice heard clearly and not all the background noise. Now the downside to the OpenCom 2 is that since your ears are open, if you're someone that really needs to concentrate and focus in on your work, you could get distracted really easy by what's going on around you. So you might not be able to be as productive as using one of the other options up here. And the second downside is that music is just mediocre. It's kind of a unique experience when the volume gets really loud, it vibrates on your face and not everybody enjoys that. But overall music quality is yeah, subpar. It's okay, but it's just not as good as some of the other options. At number four, we have the Yealink BH71. This is a small, lightweight Bluetooth headset that's actually worn over the ear. And this is ideal for those people that don't wanna mess up their hair or don't find headsets that are uh, worn over the head that comfortable or just somebody that needs a small portable headset if they travel a lot. It can be worn on either ear and is adjustable to fit different size and shape ears. And I really like that they uh, created this volume dial. It feels like the Apple Watch and it's very satisfying. You have three different models for the BH71. You have the Bluetooth only model that is under $100 and connects to your smartphones only. Then you have the BH71 Pro, which includes the USB adapter so it can connect to your computers and smartphones for about $150. Then you have the BH71 Workstation, which is uh, about $250 and the workstation base will charge the headset and allow it to connect to a desk phone, a computer, and your smartphone 
and includes the charging base, which has a three inch color touchscreen, a full duplex speaker phone, a wireless charger. And if your computer doesn't have very many USB ports, it has three additional USB ports on a hub built into it, all for an affordable price. In our noise canceling test, the BH71 performed better than all the wireless earbuds on the market, including AirPods. And the most comparable model is the Poly Voyager 5200 UC, which the BH71 scored better as well. So you can be confident that the BH71 will perform well for canceling out background noise like barking dogs or open office or even wind noise going on in the background. And so your voice is heard clearly. And again, we're gonna test out all these microphones back to back, so stay tuned for that. Now the downside to the BH71 is that the battery life is limited at 10 hours, but over time you're gonna get less talk time, so you'll likely have to recharge it throughout your day. And the second is that since it is such a small lightweight headset, the speaker is very small and it's trying to conserve power. So the volume of the speaker is pretty weak. So if you're in a loud environment, you're going to be wishing for more volume. And the music quality really just sounds like trash. It sounds okay for phone calls and, and meetings, but music just doesn't sound that great. It falls flat and there's not much bass. At number three, we have the Jabra Evolve 255. This is one of the latest releases from Jabra and utilizes Bluetooth 5.2. You can get it in either mono or stereo wearing style, and it comes included with the USB adapter so you can use the headset on the computer and also on your smartphone for one headset for all your communication needs. And Jabra has been in the uh, business headset space for many years, so it's gonna be compatible with the most amount of software solutions like Teams, Ring Central, Zoom, and many more. The most unique feature on the Evolve 255 is the active noise cancellation, as it has it even on the single speaker option, which I've never seen before on a business grade headset. The headset's extremely lightweight and the ear cushion is incredibly soft, plush, comfortable. It's like you're wearing a cloud. So this is gonna be ideal for those people that are on a lot of phone calls and meetings throughout the day. And the noise canceling microphone is pretty much the best that you're going to get on the market. The price point is in the low 200s, depending upon which model you get. And it is the entry level option on the Jabra Evolve 2 series. Overall, it's solid across the board, has good performance as far as the speakers, the microphone, it's very comfortable, and it's overall a very solid option. Now, in regards to the speaker performance, it sounds good for phone calls and for meetings, and the volume gets surprisingly loud. But the two downsides I'd say to this headset is one, the music quality is good, but it's just not as great as some of the other options up here. And number two is the active noise cancellation just turns on or off, and it's pretty weak in comparison to some of these other options too. Option number two is the Oro Sound Tilde Pro. This is a highly popular made in France Bluetooth wireless headset that's designed for noisier environments. And it also includes the USB Bluetooth adapter so you can use the headset on your computers and smartphones like these other available options. And what makes this headset unique is that it does have uh, interchangeable ear cushions. So you can get it in two different models, the S version, which has smaller on the ear ear cushions, or you can get the C ear cushions that are over the ear ear cushions and an inexpensive ear cushion. You can easily switch between the two or just replace your ear cushions when they wear out. Some brands on the market don't even have replacement ear cushions when we all know they're gonna wear out. And on top of that, it does have a uh, noise canceling magnetic microphone boom that can be removed in a matter of seconds. And it can take advantage of the onboard microphone built into the headset that has active noise cancellation and do a magic trick to instantly put on the noise canceling microphone boom. Check out this magic trick in action. All right, this is the tilde with the noise canceling microphone boom, but then we can just take it off. It's a magnetic microphone boom. Now it's taking advantage of the onboard mics, and then we'll just put on the noise canceling microphone boom, and it can switch back and forth easily. Pretty sweet, right? The Tilde Pro has five levels of active noise cancellation, which makes for the ultimate concentration in open office, home, or even when you're traveling. It's really valuable for me personally when I'm writing. I'm able to really concentrate and get in the zone without having to hear all of the people in the open office environment, which I really like. 
Now the ear cushions that I prefer are the S cushions that rest on the ear, but the C cushions are larger and they fully enclose the ears, which are gonna provide even more uh, sound isolation for more blocking out background noise. And for the technology that Orosound uses is a smart active noise cancellation because it's going to still allow certain types of noises to come in. So if you're walking with the headset, for example, you'll hear sirens so that you know that something's going on around you and to be safe. There's also the hear through mode with a push of a button, you can talk to people around you without having to take off your headset. And the speaker quality on the Tilt Pro is fantastic. It sounds good bass, good mids, good highs. Overall music listening experience is great. Phone calls and meetings also sound really good. In regards to the noise cancellation mic performance, I think it sounds very good. It's definitely top five, top 10 in the market and the magnetic microphone boom allows you to take it off and just use the headset like your traditional pair of headphones, which makes it able to be used for work and play. Now, the downside to the Tilt Pro is one, it is the most expensive options out of the headsets here at $399. And the second downside is since it is a bit larger, more durable, robust headset, it does have more weight, so it's not going to be as comfortable for as long period of time as some of the other options up here. At number one, we have the Jabra Evolve 2 65 Flex. This was released at the same time as the Evolve 2 55. It has the same Bluetooth. It's able to connect to your computers and smartphones all through one headset, except it's only available in a dual speaker options, it has multiple levels of active noise cancellation, more powerful and more adjustment. Plus it has the hear through mode so you can hear what's going on around you. And it is uh, able to actually fold in half, which makes it the ideal setup for remote workers or people that are having to travel with the headset. The noise canceling microphone boom is able to store away into the headset, making it look more like a pair of headphones. It looks modern, it looks sleek, and it just looks like something you'd be proud to wear as if you're wearing your traditional headphones. Then you can drop down that a noise canceling microphone that has six microphones built into it to take advantage of the full power of that noise canceling microphone so your voice is heard clearly. The comfort level is extremely high on the Evolve 265 Flex. It weighs about the same as the dual speaker Evolve 255. It has extremely soft ear cushions and a cushion at the top of the headband. Just makes it feel overall very good balance, soft ear cushions, and it's gonna be very comfortable for all day use. Plus it has over 30 hours of battery life, so you're probably gonna be able to use the headset all week without even having to recharge it. And there's even LED lights on the sides of the headset to let others around you know that you're busy and not to disturb you. And I don't know what it is about those LED lights, but I really enjoy them. It's like a moth to a flame. It's just very satisfying. Jobber headsets are able to connect to just about any software application that you use for work. So that means that Completely wirelessly, you'll be able to answer or end calls away from the desk. And uh, if you are in a video meeting, you can mute or unmute, which gives you a whole new level of wireless freedom. Now, the downside to the Evolve 265 is that the price is in the low 300s and the music quality is good. It's just not as good as the Oro Sound Tilt Pro or the upgraded Jabra Evolve 275 or 85 that are gonna have better active noise cancellation and speaker quality. As promised earlier, a very important part to each of the headsets is how good does the microphone sound and the noise cancellation block out background noise. So have a listen to how each of these headsets compare side by side. And this is the Shox OpenCom 2 with people talking in the background. There's some meeting going on. This is what it sounds like on the Shox OpenCom 2. And this is what the Yealink BH71 sounds like with people talking in the background here. This is what it sounds like on the BH71. All right, this is what the Evolve 255 sounds like with people talking in the background, a meeting going on. This is what it sounds like on the Evolve 255. And this is what it sounds like with the Oro Sound Tilt Pro with people talking in the background. This is what it sounds like on the Oro Sound Tilt Pro.
All right, now this is what the Evolve 265 Flex sounds like with talking in the background. This is what it sounds like with a meeting going on in the background. And this is Barking Dogs with the Shocks Open Com 2. This is what it sounds like with dogs barking in the background. And this is the BH71 with Barking Dogs in the background. This is what it sounds like with dogs barking in the background. This is Barking Dogs in the background with the Jabra Evolve 255. This is what it sounds like with Barking Dogs in the background. And this is what it sounds like with the Tilt Pro and Barking Dogs in the background. This is what it sounds like. And this is Barking Dogs in the background. This is what it sounds like. With barking Dogs in the background with the Jabra Evolve 265 Flex. And this is the blender going on in the background on the Shocks OpenCom 2. This is what it sounds like. And this is what it sounds like on the Yealink VH71 with the blender roaring in the background. And this is what it sounds like with the Evolve 255 and a blender roaring in the background. This is what it sounds like. And this is what it sounds like with the Orosound Tilt Pro and a blender roar in the background. This is what it sounds like. And this is what it sounds like with a blender roaring in the background with the Jabra Evolve 265 Flex. This is what it sounds like. Which headset do you think sounded the best? Drop your thoughts in the comment section below. So these are our choices for the five best Bluetooth headsets for phone calls in 2023. If you're interested in purchasing any of these headsets, make sure you visit our website, headsetadvisor.com or click the link in the video description below and make sure you use coupon code YouTube to get even further discount or reach out to our team. Now these headset options that we've presented are a good range of different customers' needs and use cases, but I can tell you that all of them will have good noise canceling microphones and sound great for phone calls. Now, if you wanna see the full in-depth review that we did of the Oro Sound Tilt Pro or the Jabra Evolve 265, check out this video here or check out this video here so you can see all the details and all the testing we do on each of those headsets. Thanks a lot for watching this video and we'll see you on the next one.